of a prank gone wildly wrong, Skyview Park reported today that an Airstream trailer, the sleeping quarters for the park's magician, was completely demolished by a fire allegedly set by two young children. No body was recovered, but the fire department said the heat was so intense that all traces of the body disappeared. You call yourself a newspaper man, a professional? Ha! I'm beginning to think that you wouldn't know a great story if it bit you in the ass. That park is a dangerous rat trap which needs to be shut down. We've got to get inside and get the facts. You can do it. Hell, you've known the twins longer than anyone. And they trust you. Now get down there and get that story. Jamie, how did it come to this? Sisters fighting, lawsuits flying, the town in an uproar, the park shut down. It all seems so sad and futile. Not to mention your dad's passing away. My dad. My dad loved this park more than he loved us. It was always the park, the park. People say that my father was generous. Yeah, to the freaks, the phonies, and the foreigners. This park's coming down. The land will be sold, and we're going to get what we need around here instead of this beat-up old eyesore. But why did you have to sue your own sister? I'm suing my sister for one reason. She is a starry-eyed dreamer just like Dad. Some people say I'm greedy. Well, maybe so. But mostly, I'm a realist. And I'm going to get what's mine. My ruling is final. You've got until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to present evidence showing ownership. Otherwise, the park will remain closed and will be sold immediately. We cannot postpone the scheduled demolition any longer. That'll be quite enough. And it's for you young ladies. You both are directed to stay out of the park until this matter is resolved. This court is adjourned. What happened? What happened? What happened? It's not good. We've got tonight to find that paper from my father or Sand. And they're going to tear the park down. And I'm not supposed to go back until the case is over, so... I know it looks hopeless. Maybe it is. Oh, great. Just who I needed to see right now. You know, you always show up at the worst time. I'm sorry you had to see me this way. It can only keep it up for so long, you know? My dad tried to be strong for everyone, and it killed him. He never wanted to disappoint anyone. And now they expect me to make things right. Look, I know this isn't your problem, but at least you can still get into the park. And they, they won't trust you at first, but you can play along, you know, lose a few tokens, and that won't be hard, and maybe they'll open up a bit. Now that I think about it, you know, this might just work. Welcome to Skyview. Or what's left of it. And not a moment too soon. Not a very pretty picture, is it? But then... Who said life was fair anyway? Jamie's dad, the champ, spent his entire life trying to keep this place for the cards. Then he dies abruptly at the most crucial time in the park's history. Now it looks like the place is doomed, unless you can help. What else are you doing with your life anyway? What do you want? Beat it! This door's for park employees only. I don't know how long there's gonna be any employees, but until they tell me something different, that's all that comes this way.
My friend, you must act before the opportunity is lost, or you should move on to other things. It is a lengthy journey. Can't be seen. I mean, I'm not even sure who's on our side. Now I got ten tokens to start you out. You're gonna need them to play the games. These will have to do for now, because no one is gonna give you a minute's notice without some cash on the line. Down on the midway, the only charities are me, myself, and I. I'm gonna try to hang around, but mostly you are on your own. And whatever you do, stay out of Janie's way. Glad to see you on a miracle mile. You look good. And I'm not being paid to say that. <laughs> anyway, uh, here to help, I guess, huh? Geez, we can certainly use it. Somebody's got to make peace around here. Fact is, uh, most of us are headed out of here anyways. I always wanted to sell out. I just uh, could never find anyone who wanted to buy me. <laughs> anyway, uh, the place has really changed, I can tell you that. Too many good sports. To me, a good loser's a loser all the same. Am I right, pal? Hey, look, if I sound tough, just wait till you meet the carnies in the boots. They'll tear your head off and crap right down your neck, my friend. A little piece of advice, keep your head down, hang on to those tokens. Hey, I might see you after rock and roll. The name's Dan, but around here they call me Neat. Can't exactly say why that is. What the heck, huh? Suggestion, but I think you missed a boot back there. That's worth your while. You should take a shot at the rock and roll boot before you move on. If you're planning on getting out of here, and if that squirrely dog starts talking about me, don't you be listening to a word of it. He's just stupid. And around here, like my old ma used to say, stupid is forever. Hey, you. How about starting here? What do you got to lose? Now's as good a time as any, and I promise you that old Dollar Dan won't come near this place. But he'd chase a rolling nickel halfway across town on a moment's notice. Just one token, and you can be the big winner. You want to roll those five little balls into the score hole. But keep away from the traps and don't tilt the board too much. Use that doohickey on the right to tilt the board when the balls start rocking and rolling. Are you ready?
my man. Talk about rock and roll. Why, you're a regular Elvis P. You kick some butt on that game, and I'm real proud of you. Proud enough, in fact, to give you a little free advice. Don't take any wooden nickels, and remember that twins come in too. One other thing. Not that I dislike Neat or anything, but I guarantee you he's got something to hide. Now watch yourself and get along. <laughs>